Now that we've learned how to make playlists, we'll move on to learning how to embed videos in our website, right? If we have a website, if we want to use a website to market the videos on daily motion or market your videos through your website, we can certainly do so and we can also earn money doing this, right? Um, now just to um, note, I have gone straight from media to embed because we have already discussed channel before, right? When we created our channel. So we'll skip channel because it's the same thing. None of the details have changed. We'll go straight to embed, right? Now the first thing under embed is player. So what Dailymotion allows you to do is have a logo overlay, right? In the video. So if you wanted to have a logo come up um, on the videos that you upload, you can certainly do so. And it is a good idea because you can brand your content, right? By adding a logo to the corner of your videos. And once you start branding your content, your viewers and people who see your video will be able to recognize that it's your video, right? By looking at the logo. So you start to brand your content, right? By adding a logo to the corner of your videos. Um, now, in order to upload a logo, um, there are some guidelines here. So maximum file size can only be three megabytes. File type, it needs to be a transparent PNG, right? So it's, it can't be a, a normal JPEG, for example, that we used um, to upload in our banner or our avatar, right? It has to be a transparent PNG. So if you do not know much about transparent PNG, I would suggest um, Googling it and checking how you can transform an image. Uh, from JPEG to a transparent PNG and there are softwares free softwares available for example one of those is GIMP right G-I-M-P if you google that it's free to download and you can definitely convert a JPEG image to a transparent PNG um, dimensions at least 200 pixels wide that's the recommended size and style it needs to be flat and single color white often works best appearance and behavior accent color so you can choose the color as well player settings i usually don't change this here player settings display daily motion logo in control bar so as you can see here it means this logo here right um, you can choose not to display it display share button so that's the share button that um, whoever's using this player will see the share button so it is enabled and display video information on splash screen. So I leave this um, enabled as well. All these three things I usually leave enabled, but it's up to you if you decide to disable one of these. Now, if you need to understand more, it says need help, learn more about player customization. But um, to be honest, I do not change anything with the player really, uh, because it's, it's, it's pretty good the way it is. Um, and I do want people to know that they are watching it on daily motion so they come back right um, and know that your video is actually on daily motion instead of um, other video hosting platforms so we'll move on to the next thing which is widget so now we'll discuss how to create a widget Create a widget to enrich your website contact. Keep your audience engaged and generate more revenue on your properties. Number one, customize your widget. Pick the layout and appearance that works best with the design of your site. Number two, choose the right content. Select content most meaningful for your audience and strategy. And number three, engage your audience. Embed your custom widget to gain more views and monetize to increase revenue of site. So, Choose, choosing the right content is important as I mentioned earlier and that's why we learned how to create a playlist, right? Because we can use the playlist in order to choose the content that we would like to show or um, have viewers access to on our website, right? So we are actually controlling um, the content that will be uh, offered on our website. So let's go ahead and select create widget. So the best thing about widgets is the layouts, right? It offers a few layout options, right? Layout A, layout B, C, D, E, F, G. So you have a, um, a bit of choice there and you can trial them 
on your website and see which one is better right which one is a best match for your website right because remember your website will have its own layout there um, it's based on your choice of how you want to present information right so because the daily motion widget has some options here you can choose which one best fits your website and looks better and has a better chance of your audience actually um, watching the videos that's um, offered by daily motion right um, so you can have a title for the widget so displayed widget title at the moment by default it says recommended videos which is fine widget name you can change the name of the widget as well uh, according to your preference select your layout all layouts are responsive and will adjust to the viewport of your users accordingly so for example layout a and b they are best for article pages or home pages layout c d and e they are best for article pages and layout f and g they are best for page sidebars or mobile web right and when you select these layouts you'll see there's a few options that become available for example with the layout f you have an option of choosing the number of rows to display so one two three four five right and it gives you a default value as well and also here define how the player becomes visible in place or light box so you can i would suggest trying these on your websites and see which one is best for you right now there's also an option of content so you can select the contact content that the um, daily motion widget will try and play on your website right source you can source from your channel you can select channels you can select playlist right so this is where the playlist that we tried to create earlier this is when you can use them you can select a playlist now you can input the name of your playlist and use that right or you can select a playlist that was created by other daily motion um, users right so that's um, very flexible so you don't have to actually create a playlist you can use other people's playlists now remember under the playlist video we had created a playlist called testing so as you can see if I search for testing it comes up so that's the playlist that we had created and we had uploaded one video right now these playlists belong to other people right and you can use them as well so I'll close that and you can just select daily motion and choose the type and category of product uh, videos that you would like to play using the widget right so enter a category um, if it's to do with animals that's fine you can choose the keywords and you can select english so what daily motion will do is it will filter the videos and try and play or offer your audience um, videos that are based on what you chose here right so it's quite flexible it gives you a lot of options video sorting you can choose to have most recent videos played again this is not um, the recently uploaded video by you it can be from other users as well as long as they're most recent right that's how daily motion will sort it you can have it as trending or most viewed or random right but all these things will affect how much you can earn from your website right because now you are monetizing your website Earlier we monetized the videos we would upload, right? This time we're actually monetizing our website. So we'll try and earn through daily motion, through other people's videos, through other channels' videos, not just our own, right? Because we are actually using our website. And another option here is style. Now I always leave the custom theme as the default value uh, because what it does is... Uh, uh, once you start using the widget on your website it automatically defaults and tries to match right so your widget is built to use the fonts and colors in your page by default right if you'd like to give your widget a special look create a custom theme below so for myself I have never had to build a custom one just because by default um, the daily motion widget was automatically changing colors and fonts trying to match uh, how my website looks like now once you're done you'll select save right to save um, your widget that's the layout page right so keep saving as you're making changes and once you're done I'll show you an example so this is how your widget will look here right when you select widget that's one of the widgets I have I didn't change the name so it's set as new widget and if I had to edit this I would select this 
pencil icon there. So that's one widget that I had created earlier. So you can create a few widgets. Now, how do you embed the code? The code is here, embed code. This is what you copy and paste in your website. Okay, the embedded code has been copied. So if you press or select this option here, it copies it. And this is what goes in your website coding, right? Wherever you want to place or however you want to place the coding. Um, that depends on your website development side of things, right? So I'm not going to go into detail about that. What is to do with coding your website? Um, there are some um, DIY website uh, platforms where you make your own website you don't actually have to input a lot of coding you can use it for those kind of platforms as well where you just copy and paste the code and on the back end everything gets done for you right so you don't have to actually um, know where to input the coding you just need to copy and paste this in the option they provide for where you want to display ads and that should be fine so that's where you get the code from right for the widget now I'll go back to widget, see if there's anything else. No, that's it. Um, if you do select the widgets here, you can again select edit or you can delete, right? If you'd like to delete the widget, that's what you can do there. Now also domain verification. So if you do decide to monetize your website, that means you want to use the widget um, on your website, you need to first verify your website so dailymotion has to verify your website because they do have some guidelines um, as to where they will display their videos and their name right so they want to verify your website so you enter the site URL here and add site so at the moment I haven't entered anything that's why it this option here is not uh, enabled at the moment once I enter a valid website I will be able to click on this now, once you get verified, uh, verify your websites to earn revenue from embedded videos. You can either embed your own videos, video monetization, or other daily motion videos, which is called website monetization, right? So make sure you do own the website. Um, create a website if you don't have one. If you'd like to monetize your website, you're most welcome to do so, right? With daily motion, they're very flexible. So you'll have Video monetization, which we've already gone through, you'll be earning money through video monetization, that's through your videos. And um, if you create a website, if you own a website and you monetize that using the daily motion videos or the widget, then you are using website monetization, right? So you'll be actually using two platforms.